Hello everyone, today I'm going to be taking a look at the latest beta release of Linux Lite 1.0.4, which is an Ubuntu based distribution that uses the XFCE desktop environment. So Linux Lite is designed to be a very lightweight distribution that is not only great for people who have older hardware, but also for people who want to maximize the performance of the applications that they're running. If you take a look at the Linux distro community's website, you'll find the minimum system requirements, and you'll find that they're really quite reasonable. After a fresh install, the system boots to about 140 to 160 megabytes of RAM. It's also probably important for me to point out that Linux Lite requires a CPU that supports PAE, or Physical Address Extension. This is a feature that allows a 32-bit processor to access more than 4 gigabytes of RAM. To check if your processor is PAE enabled, open the terminal and type the following. CAT space forward slash PROC forward slash CPU INFO, then hit enter. So you're looking for the entry called flags. If you see PAE in this list, then you should be good to go. So this probably won't be a problem. I've checked this on a number of computers and they've all been compatible, but I thought I'd mention it anyway. Linux Lite is using Thunar 1.2.3 as the file manager, and it's very simple and it's, it's almost minimalist, but at the same time it really does everything you need a file manager to do. Another thing that you might notice right away is the new look of this version. This time around you can tell they've put a bit of effort into making Linux Lite a bit more attractive. There's a new icon set and some really nice looking themes here, and by default Linux Lite boots up looking really really good. I'll just run through some of the apps that come pre-installed here. We have um, LibreOffice Suite, uh, that's version 3.5.4.2, uh, VLC version 2.0.5, XF Burn version 0.4.3, Firefox 18 is here, and GIMP version 2.8.2. .2. And much to my delight, I found Steam pre-installed along with some links to Humble Bundle. Linux Lite really is a great option for gamers gamers who want more system resources available for the games that they're playing while still getting that direct Ubuntu compatibility that most games are now targeting. I tested this briefly earlier by installing Osmos and everything downloaded and installed and played without an issue. I'll just quickly glance at some of the other menu entries here, um, if you want to pause and have a look. Notice the option to install updates directly in the menu here. I think this simple descriptive approach is great, and it's a concept that they really stick with. The way they have designed their menu with descriptive titles rather than the actual random project names is going to be way more user friendly to those who, who may be new to Linux. Another example of this is here under Install Additional Software. They have options for easily installing packages depending on your needs. So if I need a video editor, this is a perfect way for me to install one without having to search around and without taking up additional space on the install image. They have shortcuts here to install some really great packages that will probably satisfy the core needs of, of most people, including Wine, VirtualBox, a torrent client, and so forth. So while I'm waiting for OpenShot to install here, I'll quickly mention that the panels here support adding applets. I've noticed that this is a feature that a lot of people really like, so if you're one of them you won't be disappointed here. So that is Linux Lite. If you're looking for a lightweight Linux distribution that has all the support of Ubuntu and a really simple and easy to use interface, I would strongly recommend Linux Lite. Thanks for checking out the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions for me, just leave them in the comments.